What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a full body Pilates workout. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I want you to come into a comfortable spot on your mat, seated position, cross-legged, legs out in front of you, whatever feels good for you and your body, hands are gonna come to the tops of your legs. We'll start with a little bit of breathing. Take a nice deep inhale, feel your, feel your rib cage expand from side to side. We'll take a big exhale, let all of that air go. Good, we'll keep moving like that. Inhale through the nose. Good, big exhale, let it go. Perfect, two more like that. We inhale through the nose. Feel the rib cage move from side to side. Good, exhale, we'll let it go. Last one, we inhale through the nose. And big exhale, we'll let it go. Good. From here, I want you to swing your legs around so we come into a seated position, different seated position. Knees are gonna be bent, feet about hips distance apart. I want you to plant your feet down into the ground, bring your hands right behind your hamstrings. We're gonna sit up nice and tall, stacking your shoulders on top of your hips. And then on your exhale, we'll draw the belly button to the spine, start to roll back onto your hips. Let the elbows kind of straighten out a little bit. Keep your gaze pointed forward, chin parallel to the ground. We'll take an inhale down at the bottom and then it's another big exhale to scoop and lift all the way back up. Good, we inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, draw the belly button to spine. Think about smushing your body down and then rolling it back. Good, keep your feet down on the mat though. They'll wanna hover, don't let them. Oh, my hips are cracking. Hope you guys are doing okay with those first couple of reps. I am not. <laughs> Good, two more like this. That's two. And this will be our last one. Good, when you bring yourself up, I want you to bring those hands out in front of you. We'll keep moving with that same movement. Inhale to sit up nice and tall, exhale. We draw belly button to spine, start to roll back onto those hips. Maybe you got a little bit lower right to the top of those leggings. We inhale at the bottom, exhale, bring it all the way back up. Really deep scoop out through that low belly. So think about pulling your hips to your ribs. Good. Keep a little bit of space between your chin and your chest. So you should be able to, in theory, hang on to a little orange or a tennis ball in between your chin and your chest. Good, the next time you roll down, I want you to hold it there for a second. We're going to lift the arms. Lower the arms, pull ourselves right back up through to that starting point. Good, you'll notice right away, as you lift and lower the arms, that's when your body starts to get a little bit shaky. That's okay, you can handle it, you're doing good. Good. Okay, keep breathing, keep moving. If your hip flexors are turning on, try to shift that work back into your core. Next time that you roll it down, I want you to hold it there. All we're gonna do is lift and lower the arms. Good, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Can you pull the belly button in a little bit more? Can you pull the hips to the ribs a little bit more? Good, we do two more like this, then we bring it up. This will be two. Last one. Good, we'll bring everything up, come into a nice tall seat, and then take a forward fold. Open up through those knees. Let yourself fall forward to your mat. Take a big, deep, breath. Good. From here, we're going to sit up nice and tall. We're going to reset, but we'll do something a little bit different. So I want you to sit up nice and tall. We're going to shoot the arms up above the shoulders. On your inhale, I want you to rotate towards the right side of your room. Keep a nice flat back. We're just going to hinge back. Good, we'll exhale, pull back in. We're gonna come through center and then rotate towards the left side of the room. We're gonna hinge back. It's gonna be really tiny, right? Cause we don't have something to hold on to our feet to keep us still. So that's okay, keep it tiny. There's a lot of power in those small movements. And I'm not gonna keep you here for super long. Okay, so that's something to find some comfort in. We'll do two more each side. So this will be two over to the right. Good, this will be two to the left. Keep those feet still, last one to the right. And last one to the left. Good, once you take that last one, we come back through center, arms drop down, we go back into that roll down. Or half roll down, I should say. Good, 
exhale, roll it back, inhale at the bottom, Ooh, maybe reset those feet, exhale, bring it up, inhale, sit up nice and tall. The next time you lower down, we're gonna add in with the arms. Think bow and arrow arms. We'll start on the right, pulling that right elbow back, looking over that right elbow, pushing forward. Same thing on the left. Good, and then we'll roll it all the way back up. So we'll just add in that little bow and arrow arm down the bottom each time. Good, now again, if you start to feel a lot of work in the hip flexors, you may naturally, I mean, think about it, our hips are in flexion right here. So it'd be weird if you didn't feel it in your hip flexors, but if you feel it a little bit too much, I want you to decrease that range of motion and then really focus all your energy on trying to engage into your core a little bit deeper, drawing the belly button in, pulling the hips up to the ribs. Good. Okay, next time that you lower down, I want you to hold it there. We're just gonna take the arms. We'll do three each side. Good, big deep breaths, little twist. Two. Two. Good, last one. And last one. Good, we'll bring everything up again. Open those knees up, take a big forward fold. Let yourself come down towards the mat. Good, from here we're gonna put the legs out in front of us, feet about hips distance apart. I want you to flex the feet back towards you, reach those arms out in front of you. We're gonna amp up that half roll back just a little bit. Inhaling to sit up nice and tall, we'll exhale, draw the belly button to spine, start to roll back onto your hips. We're gonna roll all the way down, so we'll come down through the low back, the mid back, the upper back, the shoulder blades, your head touches all the way down. Once you get down to the bottom, you inhale, reach those arms nice and long. We'll exhale, bring the hands up over the shoulders. You'll tuck your chin to your chest, draw the belly button in, start to roll back up onto those hips. Come up through seated, take it one step further forward fold. We'll do that two more times through. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, draw the belly button to the spine, start to roll back onto those hips. Keep your gaze pointed forward, chin parallel to the ground. Good, we'll inhale down at the bottom, that's two. Good, we tuck our chin to our chest. We roll all the way back up. Actually, I lied, that's not two. We have to come all the way up through seated and forward fold. So that's our full second rep. Good, we'll bring it back up. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, draw the belly button to the spine. And I actually lied, we're gonna do two and a half reps. You'll learn this about me really quick if you don't know it. I don't know how to count very well. That's okay. Inhale down at the bottom. Exhale, bring those arms back up over the shoulders. Tuck and roll all the way up. Good, come up through seated. Big fold. Okay, this time we do a half rep. When you get down to the mat, I want you to just hold it there. Okay, so slowly, 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 bring everything down. Arms can come down and then circle them um, down and around towards the sides of your body. You may have to scoot around a little bit on your mat. I'm gonna scoot forward, okay? Find a comfortable spot here. I want you to bend your knees, bring your feet uh, about hips distance apart. Okay, get comfortable. Hands come down by your sides. We press the triceps down, the backs of the shoulders, and we'll take a big deep breath here. On your exhale, I want you to push into your heels, tilt the hips up and under, start to roll your hips up into a bridge. Pause at the top, take an inhale, and we'll take another big exhale to roll the hips all the way down. Good, we're gonna do three and a half reps like that, so this will be three. Good, inhale at the bottom, reset, exhale, roll those hips up. Good, inhale at the top, that's two. Good, this will be our last full rep. Good, bring it down. And then we're gonna press those hips up, that's our half rep, we're gonna hold it there. Press a little bit deeper into the palms of your hands, your triceps and the shoulders. And all we're gonna do here is a little bit of marching. So we push one heel down into the mat, we're gonna inhale, lift that right knee up above the hip. Good, exhale, pull it down, same thing on the other side. Lift the left knee up above the hip, lower it back down. Good, three more each side, three. This will be three. Big deep breaths, this will be two. Good, and two. Good, this will be our last one. And last one. Good, left foot comes down, we lower those hips all the way down. Once you get down to the bottom, take a second, release your hips, and I want you to come high onto your toes, heels lifted away from the mat. We'll do the same thing from here, just pressing into the balls of the feet. We exhale, roll the hips up and under, push into the balls of the feet, lift the hips up, inhale at the top, pause. 
Well, exhale, tuck the hips under, roll down to your mat. Good, inhale at the bottom, exhale, we roll those hips up. Good, pause at the top, inhale. Another big exhale, we bring it down. Good. Three and a half like that, three. Good, this is two. Keep breathing. This will be our last full rep. We roll those hips up, inhale at the top. Big exhale, we bring it down. Whew, calves are on fire. This is our half rep, we hold it up at the top. Now all we're gonna do here is lower and lift the heel. So think calf raise. We're just gonna drop the heel down, lift it up. Same thing on the left, drop the heel, lift it up. Drop and lift, drop and lift. Your hips stay level, as level as is humanly possible. Press down into the palms of the hands, the triceps, the back of the shoulders. Three more each side. This is three. Good. And three. This will be two. And two. Good. Last one. And last one. Good, we'll bring the hips all the way down, roll it down, take a big hug on your knees, rock your hips from side to side, a big deep breath. Good, from here we're gonna push those legs out in front of us nice and long. Good, we're gonna inhale to lift that right leg so it comes up above the hip. Good, and all we're gonna do is lower and lift. So we exhale, drive that heel down, we inhale, bend the knee, kick the leg up. You can flex your foot, drag your heel down as it lowers, and then point your toe, bend the knee, kick it up. Good, three more like this. This is gonna be three. This will be two. And last one. Good. Okay, from here we kick that leg all the way back up. We're gonna draw some little tiny circles. Really, really tiny. And this like is as easy or as hard as you make it. I want you to try to engage a little bit into your core. So you think about drawing belly button to spine, knitting the rib cage together, and then pushing down into your hips. So if you feel your hips moving around a whole lot, we're going a little bit too far. Good, start to bring your circles around the opposite way. Ooh, take some big deep breaths, you got it. We've got it under control, it's not a big deal. Four more circles, four. Good, three, two, and last one. Keep that right leg up above the hip. We'll bring our hands behind our hamstrings. Now you're gonna tuck your chin to your chest, start to walk your hands up towards your ankle. Good, walk your hands right back down, lower your upper body down. Good, chin tucks to chest, we walk the hands up. Try to get up as high as you can. Walk your hands right back down. Two more like that. This is two. Ooh, I don't like this one very much. <laughs> this will be our last one. Good, we'll bring everything down. Oh, big deep breath. You can bend that right knee, hug your knee in towards your chest. Take a deep breath. Little stretch. Okay, we'll do that same thing over on the left leg when you're ready. Push that right leg out in front of you. We're gonna inhale, bend that right knee up. Or, oh my God, left knee, sorry. Bend the left knee up, kick the left leg up. You'll flex your foot, drag your heel down towards the ground. Good, inhale, we bend. We're gonna kick, we flex the foot. We drag it down. Good. Good, we'll do two more like this, two. Last one. I feel like we did more on the other side, we're actually gonna do two more. <laughs> I feel like we did this for a while on the other side, so this will be our last one. Sorry, you guys, counting is really hard. Okay, bend that knee back in, kick the leg all the way up, start to draw those little tiny circles, really, really tiny. Good. Perfect. So you keep it as small as you can. Think about drawing something about the size of an orange, grapefruit, tennis ball, whatever visual works for you. Start to bring those circles around the other way. Big deep breaths, keep those hips as stable as you can. Draw the belly button in. You got it. You've got it under control. It's not a big deal. Good. Good, four more. Four, three, good, two. Ah, 
And last one, keep that left leg up above the hip, hands come behind the hamstring. We'll tuck the chin to the chest, start to walk your hands up towards your ankle. Good, walk the hands right back down. Good, head lowers down. We walk it up, tuck the chin to the chest. Good, walk it right back down. Now you don't have to get all the way up. You can very obviously see, I can't get all the way up. Right, it's crazy, it's crazy. I can only get to about my calf and then I lower it down. We'll do two more like that. Two. Good, big breath. And last one. Good, bring it all the way down. Good, head lowers down. We can bend that knee and hug your knee in towards your chest. Take a big, deep breath. Rock it out just a little bit. Oh man, good. Now from here, what we're gonna do is put that left leg out in front of us. We're gonna roll onto our left side, okay? Now what I want you to do is come onto that left side. You're gonna stack your hips, stack your knees, stack your ankles. We'll bring our left hand down to the mat and we're gonna take the right hand so it comes behind the head. We'll take a single arm mermaid push up. You've done this before. I know you have if you've done workouts with me before. Okay, so when you're ready, all we're gonna do is inhale, bend at the elbow, drop the forearm down to the mat. Exhale, we extend, we push it right back up. It's nothing super complicated, right? But you'll start to feel work happening in your tricep. And with those first couple of reps, I invite you to play around with the positioning of your left hand. Good, we do three more like this. Three, I said it was a full body workout and you bet your ass it is, two. And last one. Good, with that last one, I want you to take your right hand away from your head. Bring your right hand just about right behind your left hand, okay? Then we're gonna take the left hand, we'll give ourselves a little hug, reach right underneath your armpit, and now we're gonna take a single arm push-up like this. Okay, so when you're ready, it's gonna take a couple of seconds to figure out. We'll inhale, bend at the elbow. You start to lower your right, your, your left side down to the mat. We'll exhale, push it up. As you push up, you get a little bit of rotation. So when we inhale and lower, you're gonna square your shoulders off towards me. We exhale, push it up, rotate that left shoulder down. We're only gonna do three here, because this one's crazy. Three. Good, this is two. And last one. Good. From here, both hands can come down. We're gonna pop ourselves up, come up into a high kneeling position. I'm gonna scooch back a little bit so I still stay in the frame, right? That'd be nice. Walk your knees out a little bit wider than your hips. We'll bring the hands behind the head. And when you're ready to move, make sure you've got that neutral pelvis pulling the hips to the ribs. We're gonna inhale, dip the right elbow down towards the right side of our mat. We'll exhale, pull through center. Same thing on the left. Dip that left elbow down. Good, bring it back up. Every time you come up through center, you're using the strength of your obliques to pull you up. You think about pulling your hip to your rib, but now it's side to side instead of the front side of the body. Good, we'll do two more each side. Good, so this is gonna be two. And two. Good, last one. Last one, good. We're gonna come through center, drop your right hand down to the mat. We're gonna reach over so your fingertips almost touch and now we'll take little tiny pulses, pushing one inch up and one inch down. You'll feel that left side oblique engage straight away. We're gonna do five more here. This is five, four, good, three, two, and last one. Good, we're gonna bring everything in, switch out the hands. Right hand comes behind the head, left hand reaches down towards the mat. Reach, 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 so your fingertips almost touch. That's gonna be that furthest range of motion. We exhale, squeeze and reach. Good. Perfect, try to keep your shoulder, your hip, your knee all in line so you may start to feel like you're leaning over the legs. Don't do that. Good, keep breathing. Big squeeze in that right side as you lift. We just do four more. Four, three, good, two, and last one. Ah, good, everything comes in and we get to come down onto our right side. We'll head into that single arm mermaid push up. We'll come down onto the right hip, stack the hips, the knees, the ankles. Right hand comes down to your side. 
left hand comes behind the head, open that elbow out nice and wide. When you're ready to move, we'll inhale, dip into that right elbow, lower down to the mat, exhale, push away. I'd say equal parts tricep exercise and oblique exercise. We probably won't feel it as much as in the obliques as we just did with the oblique crunches we just did, but that's fine. You're still gonna feel it, they're still working. Good, three more, three, two, good. Last one. Good, with that last one, we take the left hand, you'll bring it just behind the right hand. We'll take the right hand, give ourselves a little bit of a hug, reach for uh, the underside of your left armpit. Good, rotate a little bit so that right shoulder is uh, closer towards the mat. And then on your inhale, we bend at that left elbow. You'll square the shoulders off towards me. We exhale, extend through the elbow, push it up. This one, not easy, it's very hard. So play around with this one, especially if you feel kind of weird with these first couple of reps, if you feel your legs moving around. We're just doing two more here, because I like you guys too. And last one. Good, everything comes in. We'll take a big deep breath, and I want you to um, bring everything around, come up into a tabletop position. Good news, you made it to the end. We're gonna take a couple rounds of cat-cow, dipping the belly down, opening up at the chest, drawing the shoulder blades together, exhaling to push into the palms of the hands, curving the spine up, looking back towards the tops of your legs. Two more like that, we inhale, dip it down. Good, we exhale, pull it up, look back towards those legs. Good, inhale, dip it down, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, push into the hands, curve it up. Good, we'll reset into that neutral tabletop and I want you to press your hips back towards your heels. Reach those arms nice and long in front of you. Take a deep breath. Good, we'll walk both hands over towards the right side of our mat, finding a nice release in the left side of the body, reaching the hips to the heels. Take a breath here. Good, we'll walk both hands through center, and then they come around to the left. Nice big side bend in the right side, reaching the hips to the heels. Big deep breath. Good, we'll walk everything back through center. Start to walk yourself back up into a seated position. And that is where I'm going to wrap things up with you. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I'll see you guys in our next video. I just can't resist you.